from Britain uh, Computer Tech Tutorials. Today what I'm going to show you how to do is how to merge two faces together. My idea is to take Jack Black's face and put him into the uh, Jack Sparrow's face with the, with, the, uh, with the pirate. But my idea is, is that so that uh, Jack Black's face will go underneath the hat of Jack Sparrow. So here's what you do. First thing is we're going to select uh, the head of Jack Black. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Select it and then we're going to do something called Window Arrange Tile so we can see both pictures at the same time. We go to our Mover tool, move it over, then we can X out of Jack Black. We don't need to save that so that we have this picture here. Next I'll resize this so that it's about the size of uh, Jack Black's face, Jack Sparrow's face, about like that. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to erase out everything except for Jack Black's face on this picture. So I'm going to hold Control and Alt down and roll my mouse roller up. And I like to use the magic wand tool so that I can delete out uh, portions of it pretty quickly. And I'm going to get rid of his chin as well. Uh, remember that you can change this tolerance level right here. It'll, it'll pick colors that are, that are uh, close, that are uh, more... Um, more shades away from the other one. The other one you might want to do is go down here to your layers menu and turn off that layer so that you can uh, more easily erase out the other parts. Now, I don't. When this happens, you don't want this to happen. You don't want to erase that, so I'm going to just press Control D to deselect that. Eventually, you're going to have to go to your eraser and just finish it up by manually erasing the rest of the pieces out that you don't want. So, kind of do that. I'm not even going to worry about this part up here because I'm going to actually stuff this part of the head up inside the hat. So I'm not going to worry about this, erasing this, and even trying to worry about this. It's going to make it a lot easier to do this next technique. So there's what I have right there. I've got Jack Black's face, and what I have to do is now go to my uh, Jack Sparrow layer, duplicate it. I'm going to call this the hat layer so I can remember where it's at. And on the hat layer, I'm going to race out the face, making sure that I get this line right where the bandana is. So I'll go ahead and use my magic wand tool again, and I'm going to race out just his face. If you saw what I just did, I actually uh, used my uh, I used my magic wand tool and I hid these other layers. Otherwise you can't tell what you're erasing because the other layer is visible. So I made it not visible. So let's go ahead and get rid of his eyes as well. And see if we can get all that stuff without erasing that. I'm going to have to go to my eraser now. Just press Control D to deselect that. Get rid of all the rest of these pieces. Sometimes I like to just click instead of doing it instead of trying to drag across here, it makes it a little easier. I'd probably zoom in to get this perfect if I was doing this uh, precisely, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. So now I'm going to reveal these other layers back, and I'm going to go to my first layer and go to my mover tool. Now what I want this to do is to go up underneath the hat, but the problem is the hat layer is not the top layer, so I have to drag it to the top so that I can now go to Jack Black's face and I can drag him in to the area and there we go. So now we've got a, uh, we've got all the layers. We've got Jack Black's face sitting in there. There's a few other things you can do, but uh, it looks pretty decent. So that's basically how you will uh, record uh, and edit a picture and slide one picture underneath there. So thank you. If you need to see more things, make sure to check out my YouTube channel at Britain Computer Tech Tutorials.